Good day everyone, and welcome back to my goddamn YouTube channel. I haven't been on for quite a while, so yeah, I'm sorry about that. Also, I have a new phone, so my video quality might be better, thank God. <sighs> so, I am ill. I don't have the coronavirus, don't worry. I just don't feel well all the time. Every single day is a new struggle to get up, get out of bed, and I feel numb all the time. I can't lie still the entire time because it feels like I'm going into a deep sleep and then I just have to like wake up and I'm tired all the time. And I eat, I have vitamins, I have a, now a heart regulation pill that I have to drink every day. Otherwise, I feel like absolute shit. And this is all because I took a pill. I shall put the pill on my face. Now, this pill, ladies and gentlemen, don't take it. I did not have heart problems before I took this pill. This pill helps you lose weight. It helps you drink a shitload of water. Don't know why I needed it because I was already drinking a shitload of water. This just helped me drink even more water. This pill caused my muscles to contract and I looked like a fucking egg. I felt like, and I don't know if this is awful or not, but I felt like I was going to be numb for the rest of my life. Like people are going to push me around in a wheelchair. That is what it felt like when it happened. This was traumatic. For myself and usually I'm not one to talk about trauma but I am going to talk about this fucking pill because it ruined my entire life. I now have heart condition known as influctuation or heart influctuation. It's when your heart regulations aren't normal. It's when it goes fast and then all of a sudden very slow. So it's like a con constant anxiety attack. Do you understand? So with this content, constant anxiety attack, I feel tired all the time. Um, I stopped smoking for three, four months, four months, and then I couldn't stop anymore because I keep on having anxiety and I keep on shaking. And if I don't eat, I shake even more and then I feel down and depressed and shit. So I have to eat. And yes, so that's happening. Um, Normally I would eat normally, but now it's just like every single time I feel oh, I have to eat and it's all because of that fucking pill. I had done gymming for about uh, six fucking months and after my six months I started using that pill just for experimental conditions, I can say, because um, they say it's a very good pill to have, it's good for you, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. And on the pill that it says, if you have heart condition, don't drink it. I didn't have a fucking heart condition. In fact, I was as healthy as a fucking horse. If a horse is healthy. So, I took this pill. I'm shaking right now because I haven't eaten anything yet. I will go eat just now. When I took this pill, my heart started like pumping quite fast and I couldn't figure out what it was because I already jog every single fucking day I can't do that anymore either because otherwise I might just fucking die so I was doing that and um, apparently in that pill is too much caffeine now imagine drinking coffee in the morning with that pill right you only drink one a day five days a week you skip Saturday and Sunday because that is what the instructions say you have to do. And that's exactly what I fucking did. So, I started using that pill. All went fine for a month. I drank it for an entire month. And all of a sudden, I got an anxiety attack on my way back from jogging. Thank God it was literally, I think, 500 meters from my house. So, on my way back... I started sweating profusely and it felt like I was fucking dying. So I was like, oh, 
I think I'm having an anxiety attack. I've never had one of these before, so I don't know what it feels like. Let me explain. Anxiety attack feels like your heart is pumping at a rate of, I don't know how fast heart must pump. I think it's between 60 and 100 to a beats per minute. My heart was beating at a rate of 152 beats per minute. It felt like my chest was going to explode. That, and I started getting nauseous, like I need water. My mouth was getting dry, I was getting fucking flustered and pale, and I'm like, oh my fuck, I'm dying. So, I finally uh, got home, I went straight to my room to go get my fucking bottle of water, because I never jogged with my water, I never did. Not in my lifetime of jogging, I've never jogged with a bottle of water, because every single time I come home, I finish that fucking bottle, because I am thirsty. So... Now, I also, I am now, uh, what do you call them, um, dehydrated. I was dehydrated as well. So now it's an anxiety slash mimic of heart attack slash dehydration. And I was sitting in my room. It was fucking hot because I have sweatpants on and sweatshirt, everything, the whole thing. I even got new shoes that was fucking expensive. Just for jogging. Thanks, mum. And I sat on the chair, I put my fan on because it was hot, so I thought maybe I'm just extremely hot and maybe I won't die if I put the fucking fan on me. As I sat down, which I inevitably shouldn't have done because caffeine, I'm still burning caffeine, I should have probably just walked around so if I can you know, slowly calm down. I didn't, because I didn't know. And um, I phoned my mum because I stopped breathing. My heart was one beat per minute. It went, but like a very loud, you can feel it in my chest, you can see it come out of my fucking chest beat. And, um, <laughs> yeah, death is soon to come for me. So, I went inside the house, whilst on the phone with my mum, and told her, listen, I need a fucking heart pill, because my mum had uh, the same thing, because she also used the pill. She didn't use it again, because we thought it was her heart. And that's why I used it, because I was healthy and happy. And, yes, so... I used the pill, whatever. So I got to the counter where we have all our medicine. I went there, I was searching for it, couldn't get it. I was pissed off and I was started screaming at my mom was like, cause I can't breathe. It's like, I need it now, otherwise I'm gonna die. And then I went to my grandmother's room. That is when it all went down. I finally sat on the floor. I was like, I can't breathe. I'm going into shock now. Now I'm in shock. I have anxiety and I have lack of water in my system and I have way too much um, adrenaline in my system because I can't work out because I don't fucking know why. Anyway, so I was sitting on the floor and I almost collapsed because I can't feel my heart beating anymore. So now it's extra anxiety extra stress, extra everything on the heart. And I went down the floor on my knees and I was like, can't breathe. Everything is shutting. It, all my muscles are like, you know, a fucking egg. Um, as I was sitting on the bed, uh, having contractions, my muscles all turning into stone, literally. That is what it felt like. I literally looked like this, probably, most likely. I didn't video myself and I definitely did not look in the mirror because I now have a shock of a lifetime. And while I was looking like that, right, while I was having all these things, I wanted to cry, but then my mind started making jokes. The first joke that came to mind was, Jesus, imagine what you look like right now. 
You're probably a fucking egg sitting on a bed, sweating. And when you break open, you'll be a lovely, nice, fluffy, white and yellow egg. Hmm, I wonder who's going to eat you now. <laughs> so, in my mind, I was laughing. I couldn't laugh because I was sitting like this. Just breathe. To breathe. Because I couldn't breathe. My jaw started shutting. Everything was like shutting down. And I was like, I'm going to die today. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fucking die today. I didn't. As you can see, I'm fucking alive. Uh, my mom drove here very fucking fast. And my stepdad was um, on duty as well. He drove here very fucking fast with an ambulance and an ambulance car. I don't know. That medivac. Thank you, medivac. You fucking saved my life. And they came and they were like, relax, relax, lie down. But every single time I lie down, I drift off. Like, my heart just stops. I'm like, you know what? I'm over. That happened. So they tried to make checks. <laughs> and of course, <laughs> being me, uh, joking to me makes me laugh. But I didn't want to laugh because I can't breathe. So every single time I went, <laughs> I have to breathe in very deeply because I can't fucking breathe. I sounded like this the entire time. So, after that, they gave me a drip. They told me I was dehydrated. I had anxiety. And I had an irregular heartbeat. <laughs> Thanks. That clears up the entire thing. It didn't. I went to Provincial Hospital. <laughs> as you all know, they're as crap as they can be. And... As I went to the provincial hospital, God, I swear, this doesn't record. It's still recording. As I went to the provincial hospital, they load me into the ambulance, still numb as fuck. They load me in, got to the provincial hospital. They have no space open. There's nothing there. No beds, nothing. Right. So the anxiety kicked in again. Excuse me, I'm burping. As the anxiety kicked in again, they put me in a wheelchair and they were standing there with me just to make sure I'm still okay, All right? So I was sitting in the wheelchair like this because I felt I was so tired. After the drip, I felt so much better, like so much better from that moment. I felt so much better. It's still horrible, but way better. So, as... They were rolling me into the reception area of the hospital. They told me, oh, I have to wait. Now, this was around 2 during the day. It was around 2 p.m. 2 a.m., 2 p.m., 2 p.m.? It's 2 p.m., midday. Or mid to mid, as me and my best friend would like to call it. My wife. Anyway, so we were sitting there, right? <laughs> This was an emergency ambulance that dropped me off because it was an emergency, right? My heart wasn't helping me pump anything. So I was sitting there trying to breathe. And as I was sitting there next to a ray and row of people with problems, of course, and I never go, oh no, help me first. Never. I would go, please help her. She was here the longest. She's probably be sitting here from six o'clock in the morning. However, my body is like, <laughs> if you don't get help now, you're going to fucking die. So, anyway, because that, that's who I am. I would rather die before someone else dies, because <laughs> why isn't your brain like that? As I was sitting there, I came to realise I will never be helped. Number one, I've been sitting there for two hours now. Still haven't been helped, still have the same drip in my arm. Still feeling like absolute shit. Still have anxiety. Talking to my mom over the phone on WhatsApp, going, um, yeah, I still haven't been helped yet. Five o'clock come, and I tell my mom, still haven't been helped yet. So now it's from two to five, it's three hours. Still haven't been helped yet. My stepfather arrives after work. He's in the police officer. Sorry. Um, but um, perks come with it, okay? So he asked the doctor, uh, when are you guys going to help him? He was here with an emergency ambulance. He needed emergency medical care and nobody has seen him. So they told him there were people that got stabbed 
and they have to help them first. Absolutely get it? Go for it. Stabbing victims? Go for it. After realizing that they were murderous thieves. <sighs> anyway, help the thieves murderous first, but it's fine. So I said, oh no, it's fine, okay, good, do it. So we've been sitting in the hospital from, well, I've been sitting in the hospital from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. in the night. And then only did uh, the doctor come, she asked me a couple of questions, she took my blood, whatever, and she said, if you, I will phone you, you'll have to come back if your blood results is back. It's been three months now, I'm still waiting for my blood results to come back and her to phone me. I have not yet gotten a lovely phone call from that wonderful lady who helped me. She was wonderful, I must admit, she was. Uh, she was funny, she was jokey, she was ever, even though I was sitting <laughs> dead. Now I was at my third drip already, because I still feel like absolute shit. I still couldn't stand because every single time I stand, everything went war, war and I will fall down and break something. So, by 12, no, by quarter past 12, we finally got out of the hospital. So this is already the next day. I got home hungry as fuck, still shaking, still have irregular heartbeats, still have anxiety, but now on top of that, I have depression. Because in my mind it went, oh, everything is gone now. Um, can you ever jog again? Probably fucking not. Can you ever lose weight again? Probably fucking not. So, <sighs> depression kicked in. I feel like I'm going to die. Because now I have anxiety, depression, irregular heartbeat, and dehydrated. So I wanted water. I wanted cool drink. I wanted food. I wanted everything else in the household. Anyway. Next day came, didn't want to get up because I felt like it was a waste of my fucking time and whatever. So I didn't get up. This was going on for at least two months. From November, December and a bit of January, I felt like absolute shit the entire time. Today, right, I still feel like shit. Much better. But still feel like shit. I still have depression. I still have anxiety. I know my mom did go research it. Uh, we're not going to go to a doctor because they're fucking expensive. And I don't have a job. So we're doing that. And then if we get money, we'll go to the doctor so that he can fucking diagnose me and give me something that will make me feel better. Stop making me feel like I'm going to die every single day. So what I'm saying is I think I might have depression and anxiety. Those two things should not be together. I think those are the worst combinations of mental illness that you can have. Also, sorry, uh, side note, update. Um, when I say mental illness, I don't mean you're mentally disturbed. I mean that your body isn't bringing enough of that particular mineral, I'm probably wrong, um, to your brain and that's what makes you feel like that and anxiety exactly the same. So yes, you do get pills for those. Um, I don't have them. I only have my heart regulation pills and my vitamins and a disprin to keep the blood nice and flowy. So yes, that is the intervention of this video. That's that's about it. Yeah. So don't think I'm saying mental illness, uh, as in you're crazy to be depressed and anx uh, and anxious. You're not. You are missing something in your body, and that's why you're feeling that way. That's why you get medicine to control depression and anxiety. So yes, um, that's it. Okay, on to the video. Because it is a mental illness. That is, mm, I, mm, I don't, I don't, I don't want it. I don't want it. What I want in this entire world is to sue that company that gave me that fucking pill that destroyed my entire life. So, 
if I do not feel better within the next two months and I still feel like a shaky, homicidal, cranky, depressed, anxiety-filled twat, I am going to, and I will, without money, get a lawyer, because I know a few, and I'm going to sue that company. That's it. Take a lot. If you ever see this video, don't promote these pills because you will have court cases on your hands, even though it's not your fault. However, that said, if you do get a product, especially a product that loses weight, please go read everything. Make sure you do your research on this product. Otherwise, things like this will happen to more people. I'm simply making this video to tell you how horrible my few months have been since I take, took that pill. I'm not on it anymore. I threw the entire bottle away. It was 750 rand for one bottle, by the way. So it was expensive too. <sighs> what I'm saying is that when whoever is using this pill, stop. You are going to regret it for the rest of your fucking life, like I am doing right now. And because I have anxiety and depression, I'm losing weight, which I'm happy about. Not the way, though. I'm not happy about the way I'm losing it. So, um, there's that. So, whoever is using this pill, please stop. You will regret it. I was healthy. I am no longer healthy. My heart doesn't beat normally anymore because of that pill. I was fine until I used that pill. So, whoever is using this goddamn pill, whoever is selling this goddamn pill to other people to make profit for themselves, stop, because you are gonna be the next one in a court case. And believe me, the court is gonna smack your ass and they are going to send millions to the person because you've destroyed their entire life. You've, you've destroyed their future happiness. So the agreement that I got, uh, got on with my YouTube channel, where I'm going to do a three-year challenge, is now also out of the fucking window, because I can't do shit. If I walk for too long, like I'm doing now, I'm profusely sweating right now, because I'm angry and irritated at the same time. And it took me four months to make this fucking video. But that's not the point. Point is, if you take a livelihood from someone, what they wanted to do in life. Like me, I wanted to become fit and healthy. That was my goal is to become toned, right? I can't do that anymore because I have anxiety for that shit that's gonna happen again. Because if I just feel slightly on edge or slightly like I'm gonna die, that's exactly what's gonna happen. So, don't use that pill. You will regret it for the rest of your fucking life. Do not use it. That's it. Something good came out of this. First of all, I now know to breathe. I now know how it feels to have anxiety and depression at the same fucking time. I now can sympathize with other people that are down because as an empath myself, Feeling that emotion just makes me weaker. Okay? So now I have depression, anxiety, and irregular heartbeat. Great. I can't afford a fucking, uh, what is it? A heart doctor. Forgot what they're called. I literally had the name in my mind like a second ago. And um, I'm a an archaeologist. <laughs> yep, now you're going to find something in your heart. It's not going to be your heart. A fucking stoned mummy or something. Anyway. So, yes. <clears throat> so, I'm back on smoking because that's the only thing that suppresses my severe anxiety. And, um, yeah. Uh, also, for too much information, I was shitting blood for about two months. So, I was like, <laughs> I'm dying. I'm not doing it anymore. It's gone now, thank God. And, um, yeah, so whatever. And thanks to the doctors who helped me. Thank you so very much. I really fucking appreciate it. 
Also, the ambulance people, I love them so much. They're so kind, so nice, so professional. I don't know what professional in your mind is, but if someone tells me a joke while I'm dying, yes, yes, you can be at my funeral. Um, that said, uh, they also invited me to go do um, what's that fitness thing? CrossFit. Um, they invited me to do CrossFit with them because they are doctors and medical professionals. They say I might enjoy it. I would fucking love to do it. But for now, I feel like dying. So, um, not now. Maybe in the near future. So, I might do CrossFit with a bunch of doctors and hospital staff, which is fucking excellent because if I at least do it with people that know medical things and I collapse, they would know what to do. So, um, that is my story. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're not using this film. Because if you do, you will regret it. I am telling you this as a person who has used it. For scientific reasons and for almost fucking killing myself. So don't do it. If you value your life, don't use that film. If you don't, use it. I'm kidding. Don't use it. It's horrible. So yes, this is my lovely story. I'm so happy that you probably saw my face. I don't know. It's a new camera. I don't care. So yes. Oh. Yeah. Please like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thank you for all the new subscribers because I, I could see there were new subscribers that subscribed to my channel like when I didn't even post anything. So thanks for that. And yes, uh, I will see you guys whenever I want to make a new video. I just felt like I need to make a video about this because this is traumatizing. Okay, goodbye. See you on the next one.